guys, uh, so today I'm going to show y'all how to make some mint Oreo truffles. Um, I really like them, all my friends really like them when I make them. So let's do that. The first thing you'll need to do to make these truffles is to put on your gloves. Uh, the next thing is to take the Oreos out of their packages and put them into these bags. You might need scissors because you can't feel the bag to open it. off the bag. I can't feel the bag. And double bag it. Let's put it in another bag. Don't do this wearing the gloves because you can't feel anything. You can't do anything. Make sure there's not a lot of air in that bag. Shove it into another bag. Take that one off as well. Now, you're going to take a hammer or a mallet or anything hard and you're going to crunch up the Oreos. So, after you get done crushing up your Oreos, then you get your bowl. And now you put on your food preparation gloves. Make sure not to put them on backwards. Okay. Now you're going to take your bag of pulverized Oreos and pour it into your bowl. Don't worry about the mess. Clean it up later. So now you're going to go through and kind of crunch up some of the bigger pieces you might have missed. Incidentally, oops. Uh, Riley, chocolate is not good for dogs. Alright, so I made the executive decision that that last bowl was too small. So now I have an extra large bowl, and I went ahead and put the rest of our Oreos from our Oreo bag. Make sure you get all of the globs of icing out of the bag. And just set that off to the side. Now, what you'll need are your things of cream cheese. Just take lots of it with your gloved hand and then scoop it into the bowl. Now, what you're going to want to do is take both your hands and kind of just work that into the Oreo crumbs.
All right, so after you have it all mixed up in your bowl, take a big mixing spoon and kind of just mash it all together some more. All right, so now we're gonna take some wax paper, put it on our baking sheet. Another pair of gloves. And then take amounts of Oreo and kind of mash them up and roll them into a ball. size and put them onto our sheet. Alright, so once you have your Oreo truffles rolled out, I have 24 of them. We're going to use 24 of these little cupcake paper tin things, put 24 of them in this brownie pin can I have. Things you'll need are a, two bowls, it's a bowl of rainbow sprinkles, just the regular rainbow sprinkles, and um, some hunks of white chocolate. Uh, we're going to put these in the microwave for a couple minutes. So now that your chocolate is all nice and melted and hot, you're going to start to take the Oreo balls, don't worry, I have washed my hands, and you're going to kind of roll them around in this white chocolate. You want to get them out with a spoon, and then dump them into the sprinkles, and you're going to put them in these little pans. Do that 27 more times. Public service announcement, if you need to melt more chocolate like I did, don't put the same bowl that you used before in the microwave because there's bits of Oreo in it and it catches on fire. So, uh, it smells like burnt chocolate in here now. Not a good smell. All right, so after burning the last batch of chocolate and almost burning my house down, we can continue. So after almost burning my kitchen down, this is what we have left. all of the aftermath mess. Once you are done putting them all into these little wrappers, I'm going to stick them into your refrigerator to let them cool off and set. And yeah. And so yeah, that's how you make Oreo truffle balls in these steps. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!